How's it going guys and welcome to today's video. The time of year is upon us where I need to quit feeding these cows out in the field because we're about to get some rain and if I try to do that while it's muddy out there they'll end up stomping a lot of that hay into the ground and they won't eat it. So because I need to do that that means that I also need to wean the calves and get everybody separated so that I can feed the calves their proper ration at their manger and the cows their ration at the big manger here. But before I can do any of that, I need to go through these mangers and get them back up to snuff. That's what we're doing today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Last year you guys remember that I fixed up this part of the manger and did everything in metal and originally the plan was to do everything here in metal but that's a huge financial investment and as time goes on I'm starting to really consider converting to round bales and if I go that route then this manger isn't really going to work. So from here on out until I really decide what I'm doing I don't want to put the money into putting this all into metal so for now. The things here that we find that need to be fixed, we're just going to be doing them in wood. A few of the things that I need to do here are pretty obvious, just like where these uh, slats are missing, like right there, we'll replace that. A bunch of them are missing right here for some reason, so we'll do something about that. But as I move down to this part of the manger, it's a little bit of a bigger repair. Now there's actually a few things going on here. Uh, some of the most notable problems are somehow these, this beam here and this beam here are about two and a half inches too short to span this gap here. I'm not really sure how that happened. I think just over the years, things have kind of moved and um, however we got here, that's where we are. So we need to fix that. And because it's not spanning this, uh, this gap very well, you can see how loose everything is. Now, I'm just one man. I weigh about 170 pounds. If I can move it this much, Imagine how much four 1,500 pound cows can move it. Once we get in the barn, things actually look a lot better. Um, all the beams are solid. Really the only problems that I see in here are just these slats like this one that are broken. So oh, we got a bunch missing down there. In fact, there's quite a few more missing down there than I thought we had. So. I may not get all those replaced today. That's not the end of the world though. The manger will still be completely functional. Um, just something that we'll probably have to get on a little bit later. As with any job like this, the first thing that has to be done, of course, is to get all these old, uh, rotten, broken, bad boards out of the way so that we can put the new stuff in. Now, I don't see the point really in going into too much detail on how I do this because there's really no wrong way to take something apart, but We'll time lapse it and see how it goes. So let's get to it. With all of the old boards taken down, I can get a little bit better idea of what I've got left here and immediately I noticed that I probably should have replaced these two beams as well because the ends are kind of rotten. They're not terrible. I would like to see them a little bit better, but if they become a problem later, that's something that we can fix then. It's totally independent of what we're doing now. So we're not gonna worry about that at the moment. But for now, I think the next step with this project is to cut these beams to go across the top and the bottom, get them hanging up there, and then we'll see what we got. Hoist this thing up there and see how it fits. So this is closer than I thought it would be, but I still think that I can make it work. I'm just gonna have to 
coax it in there. Everything on this side seems to be going together pretty well, but I'm starting to see that I'm going to be having a problem on this side. The problem that I'm running into is that this post is actually not perfectly vertical. It's leaning back a little bit. That's just from years and years of cows pushing on this manger to get the hay. Um, but what that means is that this bottom timber is also not straight because it has moved with the post over the years. So now that I'm trying to put these new pieces on that are straight, nothing here is gonna match up. Um, so that's, that's the issue that I'm running into. Originally, the way these were held on was with the piece of angle iron here. You can see now that there, there's no way that that's gonna hold it tightly, securely, or anything like that. So something else is gonna to have to happen, basically. And I think that the best um, option for me now is to just get some long lag bolts and put them through the timbers into this post on both sides here. That should hold everything in place pretty well because you gotta remember the majority of the pressure is just pushing on it this way. So it's really just timber against post is where the load is. The lag bolts essentially are just holding everything in place. And I don't wanna spend a ton of money on this project because I still do have uh, hopes that this will all be replaced properly how I want it. It's not gonna happen this year though. So we just need to get something done that's gonna get us by. So I think that's probably the best way for me to go here. The bad thing about that is that means I have to go to town because I don't have seven inch long lag bolts um, laying around. It's not something that I keep in stock because it's not something I use very often. So I think that I I'm gonna get all the cows out of this corral because I don't want to have to clean up my mess. So I'll get them out of here and then I can run down to the hardware store without having to worry about my tools getting stepped on or licked or <laughs> whatever else they do to them. back from the hardware store now and I got my lag bolts and my extra long pilot drill bit because yeah with lag bolts that thick you definitely need a pilot hole so I think I'm ready to go ahead and bolt this timber onto this post <laughs> After the pilot hole, which goes all the way into this post, I like to drill out this piece uh, the same size as the lag screw. And that way the threads on the lag screw don't get hung up in this piece. Um, basically that enables the lag screw to sandwich everything to be together much better. Well, I got all these lag screws in here and it actually did kind of suck everything up and uh, made it look a lot better. And it's also really solid. So um, I was a little bit unsure about the strength of doing it this way. I don't know about, still don't know about the longevity, but for now, I think it's gonna work just fine. Now that we've got this bottom piece secured, I think we can go ahead and put the top piece on. If I measured everything right, this should go up pretty easily. But, there's always that chance. Alright, so it looks like I'm about half an inch too long, and that's fine. If I'm going to make a mistake, I'd rather make it on the long side. So, I'm going to trim a little bit off of this thing, and we'll try to put it up here again. Okay, let's try this again. All right, now this is starting to look a lot better. 
I think I can go ahead and bolt this up. job actually ended up taking me a lot longer than I thought it would but now we are finally done and even though I didn't get to make this out of metal like I originally wanted to this is still probably the strongest part of the manger I mean except for the metal part of course but this turned out pretty good I'm happy with it and I think it's going to do fine for me this winter Now that this manger is finally finished, there's nothing to stop me from weaning calves tomorrow. And it's a good thing too, because that's a job that I've really been needing to get done. Look for that in a video on Friday. It should be a good one, but bring your earplugs because that's always a noisy job. Thanks for hanging out at the ranch with me today, guys. And I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Mm -hmm.